book that means high on creation. I have a very special video that I have been working on along with several other YouTubers. So if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. I am Kat and I film my tarantulas. And today we are showcasing one specific species that we all have and we just kind of want to talk about the differences between the same species and individual specimens and how we keep them. This is kind of to go along and show that while some people keep their tarantulas a certain way, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the only way you can take care of them. And it's also to kind of show that maybe one specimen of the same species is super sweet while the other has a little bit of an attitude. It's just kind of to show the differences. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, this is my Green Bottle Blues enclosure. It is just a box from Hobby Lobby that people use to display model cars in. Inside I have this Exoterra bone that my Green Bottle Blue does actually hide in. It is hollow and it's a really cool hide. I like it a lot and she seems to enjoy it as well. I also provided her a piece of cork bark and a leaf because Green Bottle Blues do generally love to web and she is not an exception to that rule. She also has a really big appetite so let's just uh, see what happens. She has been sitting like this for literally two minutes now. If you check out her pattern, it is very beautiful and that is something that is really unique about this species is that changes and it is so pretty with every single phase that they have. It is a little bit of a hair kicker. When she was smaller, she would kick hairs every time I removed the lid to her enclosure. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed my clip and stay tuned to watch the others. This is my Green Bottle Blues enclosure. Now this, it's a homemade acrylic tank that my friend made. So I would say it's about six, seven and a half inches. Yeah, seven and a half inches by seven and a half by, I think that's about eight inches tall. So we have our GBB label over here. Substrate is just a regular coconut fiber. As you can see, there are some plastic plants over here. These are just aquarium plants that I added in because GBBs like something to anchor their webs on. If you just put plain substrate, they're just gonna lay a layer of web on top and it's not gonna hold. Now this enclosure is made out of wood as you can see at the sides over here. And then he placed black tape I think these are the black wire tapes, I'm not really sure. And then it opens like this. These guys are rather heavy webbers, so a very nice display species. So there's the water dish. The good thing about my GBB is that she doesn't web up the water dish. She just leaves it for her to drink. So smart girl. Now as you can see, beside the coconut fiber, we have these forest moss just to add a little bit of texture if you will. If you haven't noticed already, this enclosure has three sides of ventilation, cross ventilation holes. There isn't any on top and there isn't any on the front. For obvious reasons, that way you can see the tarantula, duh. My friend told me that he used to house an adult Brachypelma bomine here and those guys get like what six inches and can you imagine a six inch tarantula in this enclosure? It's just over there. I'm not gonna make this video too long, two minutes max. I really hope that it's not above two minutes. I'm gonna end this video with a mealworm. And there we go. I'm not feeding her a big meal because feeding day is coming up very soon. Gotta love your GBBs. So that'll be it for my part of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, bye. Hey guys, Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spiders. A huge thanks to Tarantula Cat for inviting me on this one. We are showcasing our GBBs, Green Bottle Blues, or C. cyanio pubicans. And here is one of my adult females. As you can see, this one I have kept terrestrially. And you can see the copious amounts of webbing. I originally gave her several anchor points to web to. It really didn't matter. She just webbed the whole thing up anyway. Just a huge blanket of white all the way around the enclosure. I do have another adult female that I will be rehousing soon and for that one I'm going to set that one up semi-arboreally because they will live semi-arboreally slightly off the ground and again if you give them a little bit more height that gives them a lot more things to anchor to, especially if you give them anchor points, a lot more things to anchor webbing to and they can make a nice big 
big top of white, which I think is going to be fascinating. But this girl here, I tried to catch feeding, but unfortunately it didn't go well between the dogs and everything else. But she is munching on a big cricket right now. They are huge eaters. My guys started off rather laid back and docile as slings. But once they got their adult colorations, both of them molted around the same time and they became little hellions. And I was getting a lot of skittish behavior and hair kicking at the slightest disturbance. I even looked at their enclosure, they would kick hair. Now, they've each again molted and I found that they've calmed down quite a bit. As you can see, this girl's just sitting here. I could not have gotten footage like this a couple of years ago. She would have been all over the place. So they seem to go through stages. So expect that your spider is going to be rather quick and could be a little bolty. But... It should calm down eventually and be an amazing little showcase spider. You can see those colors are just stunning. That green carapace, the blue legs, and the orange ceta on the abdomen are just stunning. So there we go. There is my adult female, one of my adult female green bottle blues. Looking pretty, eating. Hello, everybody. Dave from Erie Arachnids. We have a helicopter view of our enclosure from my female chromatopelma sign, AOP Bessens. Um, we're just going to go over just a few quick things of her. Um, not the, the genus, not the speed, not her. Well, there's only one species in the genus, but not really a fact kind of thing, but just her herself. Um, you can see this is a piece of driftwood that I found down at Presque Isle. Uh, it sets down. You'll see as we get to the front view um, underneath, she made herself a nice little home where she's webbed it up. Now, uh, you're going to ask yourself, geez, why is she so big? Well, she was paired on uh, about five weeks ago, roughly, four or five weeks ago. So this is why she's so huge. Um, her habits, um, pretty sedentary, to be honest with you. She doesn't do a lot. She doesn't move around a lot. Even prior to um, pairing, she wasn't particularly uh, a mobile spider. She liked to stay in there. She'd come out to eat, come out to get a drink, and she'd go away, back to her home. Um, you could see the front. This is all the webbing she's done. She hasn't really webbed a ton. She's got a little bit of webbing here or there, but nothing massive. So... Uh, she's not skittish really, she's not, uh, she's, she can be a bit defensive, never flicked a hair, and uh, was a really, really good eater. Uh, it took about four and a half hours to pair her, um, but it was done over with quickly, and uh, really that's it. They're dry, they like it dry, they're not dry, spiders aren't dry, but they like it dry. So she has, um, there's a fan in my room that circulates air and she's kind of right underneath it, so that uh that's really about it um there's not much more to her her name is nikita and she's roughly about six inches long diagonal leg span so i hope you guys enjoy this clip and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the clips uh that go along with this video book that means high on creation kate asked me to talk a bit about my green bottle blue or ggb no gbb pardon she's moving or scientific name Chromatopelma cyanea pubescens to talk a bit about her behavior and my care and all that good stuff. So let's do that. In many of my videos I praise these species of tarantulas, how they are really awesome tarantulas, how they are good eaters. As you see they web a lot, they are kinda active, at least for tarantula. They are mostly out and not really hiding and all of that stands, they are one of the best species. Actually I also said if I only could keep one tarantula, green bottle blue would probably be the one. But this female, she's the disappointment. Before I got her I had a sling that turned out to be a male, but I was really happy with that sling so I decided to get a female. Eventually she ate that male but that's not why I hold grudges against her. The thing is I have her for like two years, maybe even more, and she never molted in that period. Sometimes she eats, then months go by, she doesn't want to take any food, I'm convinced that she's in a pre-molt, and then out of the blue she decided to eat once again. And that happened like three times now. So three times she stopped eating and after two three months she was just, oh you know what, I will eat again. I also parried her, but she didn't make any sick, she ate the male, now I have another male waiting for her but I'm kinda expecting her to molt because you know two years and now two days ago when I was feeding I just tried it out if she will take the roach and she took it so what the hell what do you want from me but you see really really beautiful tarantula as I said the things that I love you see what she does with the enclosure it webs a lot and that is something that I I don't know I personally find that very very attractive I mean the enclosures that are all webbed up it just it's very nice and blue colors together with orange color on the abdomen. It just goes so, so nice one with each other. 
just beautiful and the care is super super basic this is the enclosure you keep it dry you just have a water dish that you try to keep full but since she always webs it up it just sucks the the water out of it so it's kind of hard to do that but dry enclosure with water dish you don't need to moist the substrate unless it's sling then i would like to put few drops on the web to make sure that sling is hydrated and yeah you get it and you enjoy it that's all that i can say about it there so we can have a better look at her so very nice very i hope that kate will be satisfied with this clip i'm not sure if it's long enough and if i said everything but yeah enjoy the rest of the video bye, -bye. Hey guys, it is Peyton from Peyton's Tarantulas. Today we are going to be talking about the Green Bottle Blue. I will be showing you her setup, her enclosure. We'll be talking kind of about her attitude, how she acts, um, and I will do a feeding as well. So let's get right into looking at her enclosure first. So here is her enclosure. It has this giant stick here where you can see she has made tons of webbing. She has an entrance there and also an entrance there. She has tons of these leaves. I have her in one of the larger critter keepers or cricket keepers, however you want to say it. And she is doing pretty well in this. Um, she's very skittish, but she also is very friendly and has never tried to bite either. I am going to see if she wants a snack. Come on, baby. Do you want to eat a snack? Oh, such a good shot. I love it when you work for the camera, girl. Yes, she is very beautiful. You can see her nice red rump there. And her nice bright blue legs there. Eating her super worm. So yeah, like I said, she's very skittish, but she's very friendly. I have handled her. She's a beautiful, beautiful spider. And she also does not have a name yet. All right, guys. So, yeah, that was my little spurt there talking about the green bottle blue. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, she She's very adorable, and she's definitely one of the best spiders I have in my collection now. I was missing a green bottle blue for my collection for a very, very long time, and I'm super happy to have one now. Um, it definitely feels like there's a void in my heart that has been filled. Um, I'm so, so happy to have her, especially knowing that she is a female. She will live a very long and happy, healthy life. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. <laughs>
Um, some things that I like about Gladys is that he is obviously a really cool animal to show people. Um, a lot of people obviously like the colors. Um, although I do really enjoy the sling um, pattern uh, on the abdomen a lot. I wish that they still had that when they got older. Um, another thing I like is how eager Gladys is to take down prey, which we will see here in a moment. Um, some downsides is that Gladys is very skittish, you know, isn't really the most active <laughs> of my tarantulas. Um, you know, so it'd be kind of nice if, um, I don't know, if I saw some, some more activity or um, Gladys wasn't so quick to hide um, I'm always a little bit nervous when I have my um, lid off the container like I do now. Um, I do have a catch cup nearby uh, because Gladys is so jumpy. But, you know, other than that, uh, it's a pretty good tarantula to have. Um, I'm excited to see if I might be able to get a female or send Gladys off for a breeding project here soon. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to quickly uh, also just show you that thing I said about them being very great eaters. <laughs> Scared me. I thought that might happen. She's trying to get the roach to go towards Gladys. Um, but Gladys came towards the roach. So, yeah, that, that's fun. I'm glad that happened uh, for this video. If I'm going to jump like a complete wimp, I want it to be probably on one of the most videos, most viewed videos I'm going to be in. <laughs> so yeah i'm sure other people in this video have summed it up better than myself but um i think they are are great tarantulas i wish they weren't as skittish as they are and i wish they still had that sling pattern but they do um, grow up to be beautiful regardless um i have known some people to say that they keep their semi-arboreal um but i tried that when uh, Gladys was younger and didn't really seem to appreciate it. So, yeah. That was Gladys. And let's not let Gladys walk right out with uh, his treat. Alright, well, hopefully that was helpful for some people. Um, if not, uh, hopefully you liked looking at Gladys. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed any part of my video whatsoever, uh, feel free to check out my channel. And there is many more awkward and fun videos on there. So please, please watch my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Like it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which one of the YouTubers you liked the best. Just kidding. Make sure to check out my other videos if you're new to my channel and check out other people that you might not have recognized in this collab. Maybe you'll like their channel too. And comment and let me know if you want me to do this again sometime. See ya!